In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect dark decompilation project up and running on Xbox Series X and S. Decompiled N64 games have been such an interesting thing to happen over the last few years, and Perfect Dark has finally gotten the treatment, allowing it to run natively on a lot of different systems with better enhancements and options, and Xbox Series X and S are not left out of the party. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it up and running on your Xbox Series X and S so you can enjoy everything it has to offer. So let's go ahead and dive in. So to get started with running Perfect Dark on your Xbox Series X and S through the decompilation project, you're gonna need an Xbox Series X or S that's registered for developer mode. So I do have my Xbox Series X and S dev mode setup guide plus RetroArch setup if you wanna do more emulation projects. And that'll be linked in the description below. But once you get dev mode set up, just go ahead and make sure it's booted up and on that dev mode home screen. Next, we're gonna head over to the dev store, so link in the description below, but we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the game section here. And we're just gonna scroll down until we find Perfect Dark right here. And then we're just gonna click on the download button. And with that downloaded, just go ahead and get it extracted. If it's already in M6 format or AppX format, you don't need to extract it. But as of making this video, it is in a zip folder, so we're gonna get it extracted, and it comes with the Perfect Dark M6 bundle and a trio of dependency files. If for any reason you download this in the future and it's just an M6 bundle, that's all you need. You don't need to worry about finding dependencies if it's not included in the download. But as of this video, we got everything we need right there as for installing it. There is one last thing you're going to need, and that is an actual N64 Perfect Dark version 1.1 ROM file. And that does need to be named pd.ntsc-final.z64. So we'll cover that more in just a second. But now go ahead and make sure your Xbox is once again booted up into dev mode and on the same network as your computing device that you're going to be installing the app from. And then just make note of your remote access IP address. Inside your Xbox device portal under My Games and Apps, go ahead and click on Add. Now we're gonna choose a file, and we're gonna to navigate to where we have the Perfect Dark app stored. So we're gonna select the Perfect Dark app to install. Now we're gonna click on Next, and we're gonna choose our dependency file. So we're just gonna go down the list and add each one, one at a time. Now, if for any reason they don't get added here, just refresh your web browser and that should fix it up. But once all are selected, go ahead and click on Start to begin the install process. And done. But go ahead and leave the Xbox device portal up because we are going to need this again in just one second. So now back over on the Xbox, we are going to scroll down to Perfect Dark and we're going to press A on it real quick to launch it. So we're gonna get an error about a configuration file missing, which is okay. You don't really need this unless you want to enable cloud saves through the dev store cloud save service. That's not something I'm going to cover here. If you're interested in that, you're just going to have to do that one on your own. But we're going to press OK on that. And then we're going to get a fatal error about the ROM file not being present. And so again, we do need a 1.1 copy of Perfect Dark named pd.ntsc-final.z64 as listed here. But after the game crashes and closes, we're gonna go back over to our Xbox device portal. We're gonna click on the file explorer, local app data, click on perfect dark. And now under local state, you'll see this mods folder. So we're gonna press this. Once in this folder, under upload a file to this directory, go ahead and press choose file. And now navigate to where you have your perfect dark ROM stored. So for me, I have it on my desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that. And again, it needs to be named pd.ntsc-final.z64. And once that's set here, just go ahead and click on upload. And there it is. It is now uploaded to that folder. So now with that in place, as long as you have the correct version of the ROM file, we are now done with the Xbox device portal and we're ready to dive into perfect dark. So one last thing we're gonna do before playing, we're just gonna change this UWP type from an app to a game. So under view details, change it from app to game. And then of course, I always like to do the restart there just to ensure it happens, but probably not necessary. All right, so now that that's rebooted, let's go ahead and launch into Perfect Dark. And if everything is good, you will see it just boot up like a normal copy of Perfect Dark. 
If you get a fatal error about your N64 ROM version, then you are going to have to track down a different version of the ROM. As always, illegal download links are not provided on this channel though. But now it just plays like the original N64 version, just native to Xbox Series X and S. So you can create a new profile here. And if you'd like to hook up a USB keyboard, you can. Unfortunately, Xbox dev mode still isn't supporting mouse stuff for games themselves. So unfortunately we can't get the nice new mouse input here, but everything else does work with the keyboard. So that is an option if you'd like to use keyboard movement and analog stick aiming or what have you. It's all, all your preference. But again, you have access to everything that the original game had. So we can just dive in, do single player here just for demonstration purposes. But it just uh, has default controls that are pretty well laid out. So pretty much what you would expect. But there's also a lot going on inside the options menu here that you might be interested in. So, I mean, you have all of the original N64 options, but the ones that I think most people are gonna be interested, uh, just briefly under controls, uh, when you go to control style, so you'll see that it says port EXT. You're gonna wanna leave it on this. You can use the N64 controller layouts if you want to, but just leave it on port EXT because this gives you better customization because down here there is a new menu option called Extended, and this is where you're going to find all of the nice features that the decompilation gives you. So for example, you could change your resolution. Uh, don't enable anti-aliasing. This will cause a black screen on this version right now, unfortunately, so as you can see here, it's not gonna show up. So don't turn that on, but V-Sync, frame rate limits, Can tell it to display the frames per second and change the filtering on the game. So three point would be more accurate to N64. And of course, mouse support is not working, but under controllers, you can change all four controller options for each player. Stick settings and vibration strength, so a lot of cool options in here. And then you can change the key bindings for your controls as well, but I personally probably recommend just leaving them on default unless they're just absolutely unusable for you. But as you can see, it just runs really well and it looks really good too. But there you have it, Perfect Dark's recompilation working on the Xbox Series X and S, and it is quite a smooth sight to behold. It runs a lot better than the Xbox Live Arcade port, and is just the original N64 experience as great as it could possibly be on the Xbox. And of course, this version is likely going to be compatible with a lot of the mods and stuff that are going to come out for this game as time goes on. So just a lot of cool things that are going to be possible with this. But. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We're gonna go ahead and call it here with your basic Perfect Dark setup. Thank you so much as always for watching today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and it helps you get Perfect Dark up and running on your Xbox Series X and S to your heart's content. But here at the end, just the usual favors to ask. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel to keep it going, please be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Every little bit helps keep us going and bringing more content just like this to each and every one of you. Big thank you to all of our current backers, couldn't do it without you, you're amazing. Just thank you so much for believing in what we do here. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, we'll see you back next video.